How about if I come over here on the other side of my nine? Well, you, you can notice something pretty simple right away with my initial symbol. These numbers that are all lined up straight across, we can notice they all equal back to nine. So, eight plus one is nine, seven and two is nine, six and three is nine, four, five and four is nine. So 9 is always forming the center line that separates and polarizes the numbers. And so it's actually turning these numbers into mirror images, or right and left. It's giving a, um, it's giving a polarity to everything. So when I start to show these multiplication tables, you know, you might say, well, what do you mean by mirrors? Because the 1 and the 8, they don't look like mirrors. Okay. But we know um, we have something called spin symmetry or mirror imaging in physics. You know, you could say if I have a, a positive particle going one way, then there should be a negative particle. You know, there, there should be mirror imaging between things directionally, or just like between right and left. Your, your hands are mirror images. And we don't really have ten fingers, you have 0.5 which is half of a whole, it's 100%. So when I have 1 going up in increments of 1, well my 8, what happens is I'm going down in increments of 1. So you can see immediately that I have polarity. When 1 is positive, going up, 8 is negative, going down. Okay, so 8 times 2 is 16. 6 and 1 is 7. Okay, 8 times 3 is 24. 2 plus 4 is 6. 8 times 3 is 32. 3 plus 2 is 5. 8 times uh, 4 is 40. Wait a minute, no. I said 8 times 1, 8 times 2, 8 times 3, 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40, which is 4. 8 times 6 is 48, which equals 12, which comes back to 3. 8 times where am I at now? 8 times 7 is 56, 5 plus 6 is 11, and 1 plus 1 is 2. And 8 times, uh, 8 times 8 is 64, which comes back to 1. 8 times 9 is 72, which comes back to 9. So in other words, my 8 in single digits is going 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 9. It's a mirror image of this in that when my 1 is positive going up in 1's, my 8 is negative going down in 1's. If my 8 was positive going in this direction, which would still, I mean, incrementally be down in 1's, my 1 would be negative going in the opposite direction. So any one of these numbers that equals the 9 separated from each other, if they equal 9, they have different polarity. One is positive and one is going to be negative. Okay? We're modeling here, I should say, what we're looking for is mathematical perfection. There can be no spaces, no gaps, nothing omitted, nothing left out. So let's take a further look into that perfection. Let's go to 2. Okay? 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, we're coming back to 1 here, 1 plus 0 is 1, 12, which is 3, 14, 4 plus 1 is 5, 16, 6 plus 1 is 7, 18, 8 and 1 is 9. I could go to 20, but I'm back here, 22, comes back to 4, 24, back to 6. So no matter how far I go, it's going to repeat the same pattern. 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Well, let's look over here. Now we know if my 2 is positive going up in 2's, my 7 is going to have to be negative going down in 2's. Well, 7 times 2 is 14. 4 and 1 is 5. 7 times 3 is 21. 2 plus 1 is 3. 28. 2 and 8 is 10. 1 and 0 is 1. Uh, 28, then we've got uh, 35, which is 8, 42, 6, 49, which comes back to 4, 
Okay, and then uh, 56, again 2, and 63, which just comes back to 9. So while my 2 is going up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, always up in increments of 2, my 7 is going down in increments of 2. 7, 5, 3, 1, 8, 6, 4, 2, 9. Always beginning and ending with my 9. It is the beginning and the end of everything. It always forms the, the impetus and the conclusion of every sequence. Notice any distance I go out, I've still got numbers that equal 9. I have 8 and 1, 7 and 2, 6 and 3, 5 and 4. Same thing, 7 and 2, 5 and 4, 6 and 3, 1 and 8. No matter how far I go, they always equal 9. Let me skip the 3 and 6 for a moment. Let's just do our 4 and 5. We have 4, 8, 12, 2 and 1 is 3, 16, which is 7, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. Okay? All reducing back to this pattern. 4, 8, 3, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5, 9. So if my 4 is positive, moving up in increments of 4, my 5 is going to be negative, moving down in increments of 4. If my 4 is negative, my 5 is going to be positive. Okay? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So these are mirror images. They are showing, if you look at this one this way, if I was to hold that up to a mirror, what you would see is this one going this way. Um, so that's what I mean when I say mirror imaging, if there is any confusion, because they don't, you know, this isn't a 7 here and a 7. Some people have said that when you're looking at mirror imaging. But in other words, if I hold up this sequence in a mirror, what I'm going to see is this. Um, with the exception of the 9 being on the other side. Okay. So how about my 3 and 6? What about those? Well, let's look at the multiplication tables. Let's start with 3. 3 times 2 is 6. We know that. That's the same as doubling. 3 times 3 is 9. 12, which comes back to 3, 15, back to 6, 18, back to 9, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, doesn't matter. It's going to make the same pattern, 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9. 6 is going to do the same thing, reverse. 6 times 2 is 12, which is 3. Uh, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, uh, 54. 639, 639, 639. So these are all the multiplication tables. No matter how far you go out, this pattern will repeat in any multiplication series known to man. What about the 9? I don't have that one going in multiples. Well, how come? Because no matter what you multiply 9 by, it always equals back to 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 27, 2 and 7 is 9. 36, 9. 45, 9. 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99, 108. You can go on forever. They always reduce back to the number 9. It is the never-changing and eternal number 9. And it's creating all the multiplication series. I say it's never-changing. In some senses, that's not exactly true. In terms of multiplication, the number 9 never changes. But you remember, I said we're going to do all the functions of math here. And we know that there is another way that the number 9 can change, and everybody knows. Okay, but it hasn't been discussed much in this mathematics. So we did multiplying. We can see that pretty clearly. 